I'm Terry Mekalak with Premier Trailer, and this is my not-so-silent business partner, Kevin Doucette. We wanted to talk to you today about some enclosed trailers. We're doing a video series on all of our different trailers with Premier Trailer so that people from a distance can get an idea of what we're selling and, and what our products are like without actually having to come here and allowing us to ship it to them. So on enclosed trailers, the smallest ones we have are these 4x6 and fantastic little units. Um, they're actually a little bit longer than six. Uh, the V-nose gives it almost seven feet inside, uh, four foot wide. And these are used for uh, going to the cottage, people traveling, luggage haulers, tool haulers. Um, we've even had uh, people who had special needs either with uh, wheelchairs or uh, oxygen tanks, uh, band equipment, lots and lots of applications for these trailers. They're fantastic. And they do have smaller tires, the 12 inch wheels and 2,000 pound axles, but they are weighted to haul very well on the highway, especially with that V-nose. In the back we have a single panel barn style door, lockable of course. Nice diamond plate up and down the sides. And all wood inside. Even with a small trailer like this, it also has an interior light. These trailers are uh, built with 24 inch on center studs on the walls and there's a Lewin on the walls. So it's not as heavy duty as some of our big construction trailers, but it does have a three quarter inch plywood floor. So you can put some weight in there. I think these trailers will hold uh, in the nature of about 13, 1400 pounds. Fantastic units. And in my estimation, anybody who has a house should probably have one of these if they don't have an enclosed pickup truck. So from the four by six, now we can move up to the five by eight trailer. Our 5x8, this is a Continental Cargo RS Series 5x8, a uh, little bit more room than the 4x6, a little bit heavier in weight, now we're up into the 600 pound range I believe these are. Um, the 4x6 you can haul with a, uh, many four cylinder cars, um, check with your vehicle manufacturer first. This, uh, maybe a six cylinder car and up, will haul the 5x8, a little bit heavier, 13 inch wheels. These are nicely outfitted with LED lights on these RS 5x8s. Around to the back end, again, the tail lights on these 5x8s are LED, as well as, the, um, uh, as well as the overhead lights, LED. Again, single handle, side swing burn door. Three quarter inch floor. And blue one on the sides, complete. And also an interior light. From the small little luggage haulers and toy tool haulers, we move up into our uh, uh, 5x10, 6x10 series. We'll start down here with our 5x10. These trailers are their Continental Cargo uh, VHW series. Again, nicely outfitted standard with LED lights all the way around. Uh, flow through vents on the sides. There's not a standard dome vent with this, although it is an option. Uh, the good thing about these trailers, these 5x10s make great uh, motorcycle haulers. Um, and as well small tool haulers. Uh, the flow through vents allow the air to continuously flow around in there if there's any kind of a breeze outside, particularly going down the highway and if there's something like a motorcycle inside it helps vent out the fumes. Side door model standard on these models. Inside these trailers are a little different than the uh, uh, smaller 4x6 and 5x8s we looked at so far. The wall studs are 16 on center with 3 8 plywood on the walls. That gives it a stronger wall. Now you can start to hang a little bit of stuff, not heavy, but a little bit of stuff off the wall without any concerns. 3 quarter inch plywood floor. That V-nose comes with a sloping V-nose as well. This model has a standard flat V-nose across the front. Um, uh, an option is to have that V-nose slope down a little bit. Nicer looks, they can leave a little bit better aerodynamics. Uh, but fantastic trailer for uh, tool haulers, motorcycle trailers. This particular model comes with the ramp uh, as an option. It has barn doors as a standard. From the 5x10s, we move into the 6x10, 6x12s. On the VHW series, white is a standard color. Any color other white than can be had, or not any color, but any, any standard colors that Continental Cargo has uh, can be had, but it is a few dollars extra. Again, same construction, a little bit taller. Uh, the interior height in these are about 5 foot 11 inside. Uh, again, this is a 6 by 12 model. Uh, there's a black one over here that is a 6 by 10 model. And uh, obviously the black is, is an optional color, so this one's, uh, I think, on the 6x10s uh, gives us about another $100 in cost for the other color. But again, side door standard, 
Back doors can be either ramp or barn doors. Barn doors are standard and a ramp is $300 extra. From our steel frame trailers, we move into our Lightning, which is another Forest River division um, made at Rance Aluminum. Our Lightning Aluminum trailers, nice and lightweight. As you can see the difference in the tongue here, aluminum tongue versus the steel black tongue on those other trailers. Uh, sporty looking stone guard on the front. Uh, wedge V-nose, that's a standard on these Lightning trailers. Very sporty looking. LED lights all the way around it, fantastic looking. I love those bullet style lights. Um, you'll notice no screws on the exterior of these Lightning aluminum trailers. The reason that there's no screws is because it has an aluminum frame. So now we could adhere it using a 3M high bond adhesive that'll hold the panels to the frame. There's no oxidation happening, not to the same effect that it does in the steel trailers because it's all aluminum, aluminum frame and aluminum skin. Nice uh, standard feature on these Lightning trailers is the radius style door, little rain gutter here. And again, this is standard RV style lock on the side door. Complete with a one piece aluminum roof, skylight with an air vent, of course. Nice light on the inside, three eighths, green locker sides. 16 inch on centers, and again with the 16 inch on centers, it makes it easy if you want to put any e-tracking and you want to hang some anything on the side. You can also get the optional la aluminum ladder racks for the contractors. You may need to haul ladders on top, or the homeowners that may want to haul boats or canoes on the roof. Again, you get the three quarter inch plywood on the bottom, completely undercoated. And another nice feature, Kevin, while you're inside, give a little push on that roof, but not too hard. If you'll notice, the aluminum roof is bonded to every second cross brace on the roof. And that keeps the chatter down from the wind as it's driving down the road. Every unit that is, or every cross brace that is not bonded to the roof has a foam pad on it. So it, it gives it a chance to expand without chafing against the aluminum cross brace underneath. Very nice job, Kevin. You stay in there people in the white coats will be by to get you soon. So from the single axle version 6x12s, we move up into our tandem axle uh, enclosed trailers. Again, back to the Continental Cargo uh, VHW series. There are other series available from Continental Cargo. These are both attractive and functional and very good sellers. We tend to stock these, but we can order different models. Uh, if you go to the Continental Cargo trailer website, you can see all the different models there. Um, these have 3,500 pound axles, brakes on both axles. Most recently, Continental Cargo has upgraded from a standard bias tire. They now use a steel belted bias tire, a little bit more strength in their tires, longer life. Again, side door standard on these models. Uh, as with the other models, 16 inch on center studs, 3 8 interior plywood. Vino's is all standard on this. Interior light is standard. We come around to the back end, uh, and also recently Continental Cargo upgraded these value haulers standard with LED lights. I think that's a great idea. They're doing a fantastic job. LED tail lights as well. Barn doors on the back of this model are standard, uh, but ramp doors are always an option. We sell a lot of these uh, trailers to contractors, uh, and now more so than ever, uh, toy people, people with side-by-sides and four-wheelers, these are becoming more and more popular. People want to get their toys out of the rain. They're spending a lot of money on them these days. Mobile Garage. We have, uh, this is a 16-foot version of the same VHW. This is a 716 TA2. Again, TA2 referring to the tandem 3,500-pound axles. The 7x16 has a slightly heavier tongue on it. Uh, slightly heavier frame to support heavier loads and the longer, sorry, not heavier loads, but the longer length and the load span across that, that longer length. They do come standard with tongue jacks. Uh, most recently, Continental Cargo has started installing uh, sand pads. This model does have one. It's inside of the trailer. They ship them loose inside so that it's easier for shipping. Uh, when we come into the Lightning, the aluminum series again, much like we reviewed on the 6x12s, uh, this would be a 7x14. Again, all the nice features, smooth exterior, 
Uh, sloping vinos, one piece seamless aluminum roof. This RV style locking handle, fantastic thing. You can lock it from the inside. Some people use these as uh, campers and they are lockable from the inside. This unit has six inches additional height. Uh, on a 14 foot, that's worth about $250. Uh, fluctuates a little bit from time to time. Again, dome, uh, dome vent inside, one piece seamless aluminum roof. This unit has the optional ramp door on it. Uh, very popular unit with people with side-by-sides and those who have side-by-sides and snowmobiles because you can fit two snowmobiles in here as well as an extra height side-by-side. -side. Again, this unit has LED lights all the way around it and uh, very standard on trailers with ramp doors. These little bumper stops help the ramp door from getting scratched up. We have had people that, in contractors, they'll be dropping it on bad ground. We usually recommend having a piece of plank that you can put down first and then the bumper stops on top of them. And we actually have people that have marked up this section on bad gravel because uh, the bumper stops have sunken in and we can just mount some stone guard across there to help protect that. We can move up to, from, from the 7 by 14, we move up into 7 by 16 and 7 by 18. This one unit is a 7 by 18 with 12 inches additional height. Again, all the standard fantastic features that Lightning offers. Uh, screwless exterior, one piece seamless aluminum roof, brakes on both axles, LED lights. This unit has a triple tongue, little bit of extra strength, long span. These units, even though they're sizable trailers, they haul so nicely. Uh, the weight of this trailer is probably somewhere around the 2,000 pound mark, whereas if we were in a, uh, a steel frame version, we would probably be somewhere just south of 3,000 pounds. Big difference in weight, and, and your truck, if you're pulling it with a half ton, you'll feel that difference. It'll use a little less fuel. It'll be a nicer haul all the way around. From these units, we move up into the 24-foot car haulers, 20 and 24-foot car haulers. If we start with this unit, this is a Lightning 20, 20 foot, uh, eight and a half wide car hauler. Again, all those nice features that Lightning offers. Um, RV style side door. 20 foot is up to the box. I should have mentioned that on our other trailers. When we talk about the linear footage, we always talk up to the edge of the box. The V nose on the Lightning units are two inches in addition to that length, and on the Continental Cargo, it's 18 inches in addition to, except from the eight wides, which is two feet in addition to. Uh, again, LED lights, RV style lock. I'm gonna kind of move sideways here so you can get a view inside. Um, the interior of the car hauler uh, does not have the rain blocker on the wall. It has a Luon because car haulers aren't typically meant for doing work. Um, it's meant for hauling toys or hauling cars. Uh, it has a nice diamond plate in around the step and over the wheel wells. Uh, up inside, you have an internal beaver tail in this unit, four D-rings, and if I was able to drop the back ramp, which I'm not because it's too close to the blocks, you'd see that it even has checker plate wheel blocks to help support the uh, ramp flap when you open it up. Just gives the car or vehicle you're bringing inside a little bit better ease up into the inside. We're trying to make videos uh, on all of our trailers, so stay tuned and please check out our website often, uh, premiertraileratlantic.ca. And remember, at Premier Trailer, we're a fully licensed garage, so we can do servicing both on enclosed and open place trailers. And for parts and many trailers, we can often arrange shipping throughout Atlantic Canada at low or minimal cost. Thank you for watching our video.